Well, happy Labor Day, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? I hope y'all having a great weekend. It has been a busy day. Woo, we got up early this morning. We had our uh, community yard sale. We we did that. We worked. We did some of that last night. And uh, our church. We have a huge yard sale at our church. It wasn't four hour church. It was just people come and used our um, yard. We have a big. We call it the lower field, but it's part of the yard, but it's where the kids play football and do all those good things. So we had a huge bunch of people. I mean, it was just, the whole thing was beautiful. It was just so good to see some action going on. Our church cooked. We had hot dogs and uh, chili, and we had uh, baked goods. Uh, one of our uh, members brought huge chocolate cake. I would show you a piece of it, but I'm ashamed. It don't look near as good as it did, and it's all wrapped up. You know what it is. It's delicious. Anyhow, anyhow, we've not eaten much of it, just a little bit. Mama filled this full of no but cookies, and we took it. It was a great day, but I'm telling you what. I am beat like a drum. Just now settling in, really. Um, I've not even had my two o'clock coffee. That may be the reason I'm so tired. I'm worn out. Do y'all really get worn out? I was going to make a beautiful pasta salad today because look what I've got. I bought these at the Food City. And they're, this carton and this video don't even do them justice. These were like the prettiest tomatoes. I've ever seen. Look at that. Are those not gorgeous? I mean, they're big, they're juicy, they taste wonderful, and they're just crying out for pasta salad. I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I don't feel like doing it today. I'm tired. I don't want to eat today. I've eaten and um, not eaten that much because it's just what's been hot. We've been busy. Uh, I ate some, I bought, we don't always have hot French bread. I have to go to Food City to get that. And so what I had when I came home and kind of wound down, and I did this sometime in the summer when it's hot, I had olive oil, salt and pepper in a dish, in a paper plate. It was real nice looking. And I did some French bread in it, and that was my lunch, supper, slash 4.30 meal. And I, Mama got out this morning. She did the yard selling thing. She went to town. She buzzed around here, so she come in, and a while ago she said, I'm going to go lay down and take a nap. Mama don't, yeah, she don't usually lay down. She said, I'm just going to lay down and take a nap. She said, we'll get up and cook something a little while if you want to. And I thought, I said, okay, when she went through there. I said, okay. But then the more I thought about it, I thought, she, she needs a day off. And I'm just going to take the rest of the evening. I'm taking Maggie out. I'm going to let her play. It's not terribly hot. It's 80 something degrees. Um, we've got company coming over later. And I don't want to be filming when company gets here. And it's the holidays. And that's what the holidays are for. Get out a little bit. Enjoy. So when mama gets up from her nap, she'll sleep for 20, 30 minutes or hour. Maybe an hour. I don't know. Uh, we're going to get out, go visit some family go maybe ride around the park, get out in the sunshine, make some memories. You know, sometimes if you just make yourself available, you'll run into people you've not seen just by accident. And it, sometimes you can just rekindle old friendships or sometimes, you know, like somebody you hadn't seen in forever. You know, when you're just out at the park and you run into a reunion or a bunch of families in. So I like to do that sometimes. We don't take enough time. We don't take enough time. And I think the devil does that. I think the devil steals our time. You know, he, we kind of live normal lives. You go along your day. You got to get it done, folks. You got to get it done. You know, you get up and you go to work. And I don't care if you work in an office or if you work in a factory or where you work. And when you're home, when you get home, you're tired. You're mentally and physically drained. And you got to do supper, and if you've got children, they've got activities. I've never seen a time in my life, it wasn't in my life when I was a kid. These youngins have got to carry around a date book so they know where they got to be. 
it's ball practice for this. They're in two or three leagues. They have, I don't even know what to call it. Some of you parents know well what I'm talking about. They have specialty leagues, special, special leagues. And they're always practicing. It's always, uh, you know, got to run to practice, got to be at practice, should have been at practice, got to have something to eat for them. I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know how you do it. And um, it's just a lot, a lot of work. But anyway, so I was going to do pasta salad this evening. But I don't want it. And I don't want to fool with it today. Just to be fully honest with you. Do you ever do that? You think, I don't even want to fool with making it. I don't want to eat it. My eyes look tired, don't they? Because I've been up. I woke up at 4.30. Maggie decided that'd be a good time to get up and go out. Well, you all know my rule. After 3.30, it's it's iffy if I'm going to go back to sleep. It's really iffy. It's like at 3.30, I'll, I go back to bed and it's 3.34. I might as well get up. So at 4.30, they wouldn't have gone back to bed. So I made some coffee. I sat here, I studied my lesson. Done a little bit of things like that in the wee hours of the morning there. And uh, I thought, well, I gotta get ready for this yard sale and this cooking and all this stuff. Well, we thought, you know, we'd do probably 11.30 or 12, we'd be through. And it was after one before we even started wrapping up and then people kept coming and there was still people there. So I was talking and it's hot. It's real hot. But anyway, that's where we are. Let me show you something. This is just, this is just a funny. Not too funny, but y'all know we buy these little cheap biscuits. G. Grierson's buttermilk biscuits. And mama makes apple pies out of these. And so, I, Mama had come home before I did, and I had got home, and uh, I got me some ice and some water. I love ice water. Y'all crave ice water. I mean, I'm not talking about, I like to have a good glass of ice water. I'm talking about, mm, mm, I gotta have me some ice water. Uh, I take it to bed with me. I drink it off of the day. I started drinking it just because I need more water. And then as it goes on, if I don't have it now, I feel like, well, I've got to have some ice water. So I had, I drank all my water out there uh, at church. And I thought, oh, I've got to have some ice water. So I started the ice, I got out of the door. And uh, I stepped in the living room and we heard a boom, like a shotgun went off somewhere. And not really that loud inside the house. It was just like, Pow! and I, mom said, "What was that?" I said, "Gosh, I don't know. Was it the ice maker? I just got ice." And yeah, you start making logical sense out of events. I said, "I bet you a piece of ice fell," because it was a different sound, but yet it could have been that, you know. And uh, mom said, "That may be what it was." I go back over and open the refrigerator for a minute, and here's a big wad of biscuit dough had hit the door. Well, it falls. I'm like, and I look, and this was pointed at me like a can. And I, I guess it had fallen over and a, a biscuit had flung out of it and uh, it had blown up in the refrigerator. Have y'all ever had that before? I don't know that I've ever seen it. I've seen them, you know, get hot in a car or something. And, and these are not out of date. These are these were ready for some apple pies. You know, we had all them apples. Now I can't use them. You can't use them when they blow up. Can you? I mean, there's something going on in there. Because it's a pop and stop, literally. And I was just thinking, what if I'd open that door and got shot by a biscuit? Why, a body could have a heart attack. These things should come with a warning. Mama hates them. Anything in a tube that explodes. And she says, I don't know why they make stuff like that. So Mama, she, she's she got a real bad spot on her finger when cut her one time or done something. 
And so she won't open. I have to open all things in compression cans. So, I'm just telling you this is a, a public service announcement. If you bought you some biscuits, wampums, wampums, wampum biscuits, the reason we call them wampum biscuits is because you have to tear the paper off from them. And most of the time, when they're not loaded and ready to shoot you and I, I don't even, I'll have to find that metal thing. Um, you wamp them on the counter and they pop. You don't know what you're gonna get into, just open the refrigerator door. True story. Y'all be careful out there. It's dangerous. Hope you're doing something fun for Labor Day. And I, I thought too, you know, probably everybody's gonna be out on Saturday evening. You all are gonna probably be out. There's several on here now though. Um, Y'all probably gonna be out running around, picnicking, enjoying the family, gathered around a picnic table somewhere, chatting it up, laughing and talking, and having a good time. And that's what I hope you're doing. I hope you're having a great um, Labor Day weekend. This is supposed to be the ending of summer. And uh, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all will be decorating bright and early Monday morning for, or at least Tuesday, for fall, because it's officially it. Um, now my granny uh, wouldn't wear white after Labor Day. I think that's gone. Some of you women tell me, I don't know. I don't think men, I think men could still wear white shirts. Uh, I don't think that was a deal. But women wearing white around here like white shoes, white pocketbooks. You know, they do all that at Easter time. And then do it all through summer and wear white pants, white dresses. And then after Labor Day, my granny wouldn't wear white. No mama does, I think. I don't think she subscribes strictly as granny did. Do y'all know anything about that? Happy Labor Day. Hey, Carolyn, I'm staying home. Lori, I I'm gonna get out and about, just see what I can see. Happy Labor Day weekend, hey Tracy. Some of you women, well, it'll take, hello John, Mama. Mama's on the phone. I can hear her her. I heard her phone ringing as she's talking. Hi John, hey Shirley. Hello, is it white after Labor Day you can't wear? I know, that's what it used to be. I'm working on Labor Day work. Oh, Pam, you're in nursing, or Greg, you're in a nursing home? Greg, thank you. Thank you for taking care of those sweet little people. Greg Rose, thank you for, for doing that. I know it's nice to be off, but them little sweet people, they gotta be there all the time. It's their home, and people like you coming in and making it, make it better for them. I don't feel special. That's that's a blessing. No plans here, Pam. You know, I think I think um, not as many people do things. No white after Labor Day, though, Philip. Bernadine, is that true? Is that is that a everywhere thing or is that just a southern thing? I know it's true here. Every once in a while, you'll hear you'll hear some lady of that generation will say, "I wore this." Uh, white dress and shoes and whatever you won't be able to wear them after next week. And you know who she is and you know you know that she's one of those uh, prim and proper southern bales that wouldn't wear white after Labor Day. Some person came to our hospital with a bale. Oh, oh. Stephanie, that's it. Mm, mm, mm. Stephanie, I'm gonna leave that one right there, but really? Huh, people do anything. That right there proves it. If you're gonna steal biscuits, be careful. 
Hello, coffee time with John and Mama. You can wear white after labor. Yeah, Carolyn, I think you can. I don't believe it's a real law. I believe it's a Southern law. Uh, people stopped paying attention to that long time ago. Did they, Susan? Uh, I don't hear it much around here anymore either. I will be home alone all weekend. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Melinda. Kid, it was true, but not so much anymore. Yep. Melinda, you know what I'm talking about, though, don't you? You probably have those ants uh, that won't wear it after, after Labor Day. Happy Labor Day to the both of you, John and Mama. Hello, John and Mama. Happy to Hi, Terry. How are you? Mama, I'm on... I'm on coffee time. <laughs> she don't know. Let's see what she's talking about. Let's see his drop on. Hey, Mom. Yeah. We're on coffee time. We are. We are. Yeah, you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> she's supposed to be in the bed. She's supposed to be drifting around. Can hear him fine, but he must be on our end. Yeah, Charles, um, I get that about every time they said go out and come back in, and it helps with sound. And I guess that's, and I have to do that on some things I watch too. If I did, my mom would hurt me. She go, what are you? I wear white. I don't wear white shoes after Labor Day, Amy says. Debbie says hi from upstate New York. Hey, Debbie. Hi from Alabama. Hey, Terry. Where is beautiful mama? Terry, well, she just wandered through here. But she just went in there. What happened was she went in there taking that smack called her. And they woke her up or she went asleep or whatever. So she came through here talking to him on the phone. And that's she kind of said, hey, I can hear your whole conversation because she's got her speaker on. She does that sometimes. <laughs> you know, if you're having a private conversation and somebody thinks you're just talking to one person, you probably should give them a heads up if they're talking to Facebook and to y'all, too. So, she's going back through there. She'll, I thought Mama was taking a nap. But Susan, she was <laughs> to the phone rank. <laughs> Have you ever had anybody call you while you're asleep and they say, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I woke you up. I said, no, it wasn't you. It was the ringing of the phone. It, it wasn't you. You didn't do it. It's when the phone, the phone done it ringing. It, it's just crazy. Finally, a cloudy day in California. Um, man, a strong suit. That sounds good, Karen. We've had several cloudy days. We got sunshine and pretty skies today. It's beautiful. And it's not terribly hot. It, it's September-ish here. It's in the 80s. Did Mama get, have a good, Mama's had a great time today, Preston. Uh, we love a good rummage. We love a good antiquing. And I did get some nice, uh, just a few pieces. Didn't go crazy. I, I like to get quality, not quantity when I go out. If I find a, a real an, antique piece of an item or something, I like to get that. Um... I don't like to get tons of stuff, but yeah, Mama loves to go. And it was the whole community. It was the whole community yard sale. And at our church, there was probably four or five families. Maybe maybe more. Um, yeah, there was more. Uh, and our whole little field below our church, which is our little yard, uh, it was full. Absolutely full. And it was just fun. And people was pulling in there and parking and, and shopping and looking and buying stuff. And... Um, then they would come in the church and get hot dogs with chili and relish and mustard. And they had, you get a bag of chips and get a pop. And, and people would say, oh, it feels good in here. I say, you know, come on and get you something to eat. We just charged $10 for the air conditioner. And that was just life and about it. It was just a good time. Uh, this is one of my favorite things of fall is when you get together for little festivals or yard sale, community yard sales, or um, we have a farmer's market every Saturday and it goes through fall and they'll have pumpkins and mums and people selling beautiful mums all over the place. Now, I don't know about where you are, but people fix them. People fix them to bust loose. Bust loose 
with foul. Now, you next week, anytime after Labor Day, it's on. Now, some brave souls have put the stuff up this week. I've seen some wreaths. I've seen a pot of mums or two. A couple of pumpkins. And I'm like, you go. You set the tone. They're ready. But now, after Labor Day, it's on. Fall has begun. No southerner in our little parts here is not going to be ready for fall. Uh, and the women have got the uh, wreaths changed. They're decorating around their doors. They've got their pots and mums out. Some of them are doing all white pumpkins this year. Some of them have got mums all the way up their, up their steps. You know, they're getting it together. Uh, they're hanging out their little um, scarecrow heads, you know. And by heads, I mean, I'm talking about the wood ones that look pretty. Not like on a stick. Uh, but Halloween's coming, and they'll transition. Halloween, uh, they'll start out with fall. Uh, just your basic fall. They'll transition and throw in a pumpkin and, and, and a thing or two. And then they'll go back to a fall through Thanksgiving. How was that nap? It was helped. Was it short? I don't know if it's short or not. I don't know. <laughs> I told him you were taking a nap, and I was just going to come out here. We, would, we ain't going to cook. No. Uh, I'm tired. I told him you were tired. I'm tired. She's over here cleaning up for making cookies this morning. And I'm making loud noises. Wow, well, Mama, we expect it, don't we, folks? Why don't you come up here and speak to them since you're up? I don't know if I... That was what they could see in the mirror anyway. They can't. I'm sorry. I ain't thinking I am bad shape. I think they thought she'd run off and I wouldn't want to tell it. Well, I'm not running. See, she got her little church shirt on. That's one of our house we got Mr. and Baby's church shirts. Say hello, Mama. Hello. Your eyes look like you've been asleep. I didn't think you've been there long enough to sleep. Oh, I have went to sleep. I shut them the cannon. Oh, the cannon blowed up? The cannon. Boom. Well, that could have put your eye out. Well, I've still got a blue spot from years ago. You, I told them that you just didn't believe in them can biscuits. I don't. They're bad news. Clean up your mess here. I'm trying. That nap re-energized her. Got her bossy. <laughs> well, Mama, don't be rude. Won't be rude. I'm trying not to. I thought you was talking to one of your friends. I'm no, I wasn't talking to I know when you came through with that speakerphone and blast, <laughs> you didn't know what it was on. I didn't know it. Well, step in that camera. You see a little woman in pink in there? Yeah. Look in there. See her? There she is. Yeah. I'm still here. Let's. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> you got sleepy? You must have taken a little nap. I have. You went in there for 30 minutes. And I heard the phone ringing. But I was so tired and felt that. A day of rummaging to her in. Don't take much to do me in. I know. I hear your princess out there. I know it. I had to get up and let her out too. I could have let her out. She didn't ask me to let her out. Well, she don't sometimes. Did she come around and get you? No, I just come through there and she was up ready to go. She just got in. I know what she does me that way. <laughs> if I get up and move, she wants out. I sort of say, I, uh, she didn't mention a word to me about going out. Mm -hmm. yeah, she kind of got you. Yeah. I heard you talking to one of your friends. That's Brenda from church calling about the Wayne's death. Uh, all right, folks, we will uh, let you go. Get on with your weekend. I just thought I'd run in here and tell you we ain't cooking tonight. We too tired. Yeah. Whew. I was going to cook. I was going to do pasta salad. I was going to make up a homemade dressing for it. And it's going to oh, take Oh, that green onion dressing. You just well, I was going to make up green onion dressing, but I was going to make pasta salad with a dressing, too, with oh. ranch. So it's going to take a minute. And then I was going to have it on some crackers tonight. Just pasta some crackers. It was going to be supper. And then tomorrow, I'm going to throw something with it of some <laughs> kind. 
and have it again tomorrow. But this is have to be a tomorrow's dish now. Yeah. I do want to make it though because it would be a shame, maybe even a sin, to let those that butter is on the top of that box. It don't look that good. You don't see it except in that camera. Oh, uh, it looks like it's where it's been laid outside more Where it was wet. But these are beautiful. Look at those beauties. I've done shoveling once, but these are worth looking at twice. Um. I'm gonna make a pasta salad with them. As soon as I saw them, I thought those need a pasta salad in their life. And so I'm gonna make a pasta salad with them because it is so good. And I got some English cucumbers. I love English cucumbers. Green, uh, not green. And I get some spinach, but I don't know if I put that in the pasta salad. I'm just telling you, I got some good spinach. I'm excited about the spinach, so I'm bragging about it. You know, like when you ain't had nothing in a while. And you're you like, don't have it. Don't hear much, do you? No. Sure no. No, 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 no. Be thankful when you just run to the store and grab stuff like that, because we can't. We're very thankful for our store, though. Don't get that wrong. Oh, we are yeah. very thankful for our little store. Anyway, you got anything else, Mama? I'm glad you joined us. I was just going to let you nap, and then when you woke up, I was going to say, you was going to say, what are you going to cook? And I was going to say, Mama, I've done talk to them and tell them we was tired and we weren't doing it. Yeah. So I was just so going to give you the whole sure night out. I don't feel like cooking. I was just going to give you the night off unless you want to. No, I like nights off. So. Um, I thought we might ride to the park and see if we run into anybody. Mm -hmm. Or maybe ride around the neighborhood see if anybody's I'm having not fun. Heard of my family in, have you? No, we have to go check it out. Mm -hmm. um, ride around the neighborhood see if anybody's out. That's a southern thing, too. Mama, will you wear a white after today? I probably will. <laughs> I'll forget that. I was asking them if they'd ever heard of that foolishness. That's a seven. Oh, that used to be really, really strict. Oh, I know. I heard. You don't wear white shoes or white, white. And then they come up with this creamy off-white that you can wear after what, Labor Day. Creamy off-white? Yeah, it's not white, white. But you didn't wear white shoes after Labor Day. No way. No. What did it mean? I really did it just mean you was summer was over and fall was over. But what summer. what happened to you? Like did they bring you up before the board and say the fashion sure they, police did sure the fashion they might have. I did the fashion know. police come and grab you by the arm and say, Look lady, you get in that house do you find something decent to wear? We don't wear a white after Labor Day. I've not been that far yet to get called up. I'd like to, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna say, Why couldn't you wear a white after Labor Day in the South? And maybe is that everywhere? I don't think they're strict on it now. And used to, your purse and shoes had to match. They don't match? They don't know more. Do purses and shoes not match anymore? No, they used to be. If you had white shoes, you had to have a white purse. I thought not long ago, you said to me, does this purse look okay with these shoes? Well, it was totally off. But they, they didn't match and match. Or so they don't have to match? No, they don't match them. They're like me, they get one bag and carry it for a while. So that's the other, when you asked me, you was wearing black, white. white shoes with a red pocketbook. Yeah. Oh, I broke all kinds of rules. And <laughs> she's, I said, Mama, why couldn't it match? That's two of the colors of the flag. Throw you on a blue skirt and you're patriotic. I'm not a fashion person. No, you wear mm. black pants all the time. Black shoes, black pants, black socks. They're so easy. And then I put some kind of shirt on top of it, but I don't care. Now, this shirt is more of my holiday shirt for 4th July, Labor Day. I wear it on one of those occasions. I would wear it some other time, but it's red, white, blue. 4th July is it, you know. But um, my only rule on clothes is um, clean and ironed. I just want my shirt to be clean and iron, my pants to be clean and iron. So it don't matter to me if I wore it yesterday. Which you all see us on here all the time. You say, well, he just wore that shirt. Well, as long as it's been washed in between, I don't care. Uh, it don't bother me in the least. And here's the truth as far as I ever spoke it. I wouldn't care one bit to wear black pants and the same shirt every day. 
Like if I had seven shirts. A uniform. Wouldn't bother me. I've got a friend. If you're watching, you know who you are. He wears Oxford, blue Oxford shirts and khaki pants every day of his life and loves it. They're clean, they're pressed, he always looks stylish. But he said, this is my, this is what I feel comfortable with. That's what I should do. Yeah. But I wear, I do wear different color shirts sometimes, but oh. I wouldn't have to. You do, I could just buy, I may do that. Just buy seven shirts. If you'll notice, here's something to think about. All your childhood favorite cartoon characters never change clothes. Winnie the Pooh. They never wore clothes, a lot of them did. Mama, they did. Charlie Brown wore the same yellow shirt with the zigzag all over it. Yeah. Lucy wore that blue dress. Yeah, Linus wore that striped shirt. Panther didn't wear clothes. No. But he wore that, he had pink fur. Donald oh. Duck always wore the same outfit. Wilma and Fred never, he had a tuxedo and she had an evening Baby. gown. But I'm talking about on the daily. Betty and Barney always wore the same outfit. Hey, Boo Boo and Yogi, they wore the same things. They wore a cap and a tie that wasn't close. <laughs> same green hat. Yeah. She, she's had a power nap. She ready to work. She's no. she cleaning. Mama, you gonna say bye to her? Yeah, I'm gonna say bye to her. I figured you're talking. No, I ain't talking no more, Mama. We just getting ready to go. And I'm gonna interrupt you. I'm sorry. I should have stayed in there. I wouldn't have been up. Listen to her. I wouldn't have been up. For the phone ringing. For the phone, that's right. You wasn't in there long. No. I really thought I had been 30 minutes. Is the little pink woman in there? Yeah, she's in there. She's All right. In there. Tell them goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you. Mama. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday. And that's Lord right. will, we'll see you tomorrow. And we may even cook tomorrow. Do you have any ideas? No, I don't. You're going to fix pasta salad. Pasta salad and maybe something to go with it. I like to have some barbecue chicken. You could probably fix your salad that. Eat it on a bun. Yeah. Uh, you could barbecue pasta. chicken in a bun with pasta salad. That's good. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. Bye-bye. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye-bye.